afternoon, everyone. This is Jared Rand, and welcome to the Global Guided Meditation Call for May 1st, 2019, May Day. Today, in our meditation, we think about, and I know a lot of us think about this, or if we don't hear about it, uh, we think about it. Or we see it. We, we experience it. And across this country, America, we have a lot of brothers and sisters without homes living in the streets, in tents if they're lucky. There's no excuse for this. It's absolutely appalling. And our meditation today is directed towards all of those people, not only here in this country, but across the planet. Those that are never seen on, on uh, the media are talked about, that have been enduring this kind of condition for many, many decades. And I mean, just basically living in squalor, no clean water, no clean food, it's just It's not acceptable. And this meditation is guided through all of us, through the collective consciousness of the universe, and through Mother, Father, God, Prime Source, Creator God, to assist all of those without. Those who uh, don't even eat on a daily basis. Uh, they're lucky to have clean water, if any, uh, or the proper clothes or shoes. And we direct this uh, directly to each and every single one of them to uplift them, to energize them, to lift their frequencies, uh, assist them in lifting their frequencies, I should say. See, the more harmony that we create on this planet, or in this planet for that matter, the more the civilization will lift itself the more harmony will begin to flood in. The more peace, the more joy, the more happiness. This is part of our mission to eliminate, wash, purify, cleanse. All of these low frequencies that cause so much upset. We feel it every second of every day. And the majority of time, it isn't us in, it, in our experiences, it's the planet. It's all of our brothers and sisters experiencing, you know, the different frequencies, the, the, the lack of tone and, and pitch, and it's low, and it's, uh, it, it, it's draining down. And the more that we saturate our brothers and sisters in this civilization, on this planet, in all life for that matter, the higher the frequencies, the, the, the kinder we are to others. We make effects everywhere. We make indelible effects that are far reaching. And we are all omnipotently powerful for doing this. It is, and this is part of the giving that we talk about. It, it doesn't mean that you give things it doesn't always have to mean that you give things. It means that you're giving your love. You're giving your kindness. You're, you're 
you're literally uh, tremendously generous and you send out deep eternal love and peace and joy and prosperity and happiness. This is, you know, if you really, really want the civilization to expand and grow in peace and harmony and joy and prosperity, this is, honestly, this is the only way, the most powerful way that our civilization can literally become more enlightened, more enlightened, more enlightened, and then eventually ascend. It's the only way. You cannot do it by little teeny groups here and there. It, it, it's, those are good, but they're not just not as effective. They, they never have been. We, we've got to unify more and more and more, come together universally in love, peace, harmony, and joy with egos left at the front door. This is the, there's, you know, you can look at different applications in different ways. And I'm sure a lot of you have as well. And what have we come up with? We come up with, in thinking for ourselves and leading ourselves, that we have, we, we must garner enough impact on the planet to uplift the civilization. See? But it doesn't mean that every single human human is awake and, you know because that, that takes a long uh, transition for, for some it just means that the frequencies around them and running through them are so high and so loving and so peaceful it affects them it cannot not affect them and it, this is why when we look at the the homeless and the people starving and the people uh, that, that don't have clean water, all of these, these are things that are part of the civilization that should be eliminated. It, sh it shouldn't exist at all. And so when we send the positive, uplifting, loving, powerful energies, and joy and, and peace and tranquility, it affects everything, everything. Nothing is left untouched. So, Remember how powerful our intent is, and from our heart-mind, how we can literally transform anything that we focus on. This is, this is a belief, but it is a reality as well. Most of the civilization do not understand because they have not been exposed enough that this is their power. This is their true power. But we know that. You remember that our intent, our love, our joy, our appreciation, our unselfishness, our generosity, our kindness affects everything on this planet. Affects literally millions to billions of people. And it keeps expanding. And we keep making a bigger and bigger and bigger difference. So this is, and I guess you could call it homeless. Uh, people starving, people diseased. I mean, it's, 
we all feel it. We all have that sensitivity to it. But a lot of people don't want to address it. It's like they're afraid of it. But it's part of us. It's part of all of us. And I am humbled and enjoy that we're able to do this for our brothers and sisters on this day. So we're going to uplift as many as we can. Uplifting the homeless. And that means people that are starving and people that don't have any shoes and people that don't even have proper clothing. Our joy is for everyone to be in joy, for everyone to be happy, prosperous, content. Has this planet ever been there? Not yet, but we're going to get there. So if you will, go to a place where you are not going to be interrupted, which I'm sure most of you are while I'm talking. You're going to want to relax. Relax your body. Drop your shoulders. Release the stress and tension in the lower backs. Let it flood out. Move into the now. Only the now. Not tomorrow, not yesterday. Right just the now. Second to second, right in the now. Focus on being Ness and in the now. Relax the body. Any uneasiness, any worry, any stress, any fear, anything, let it flow out. Don't hold on to it. Embrace it. Let it go. Flood it out. It, call in the purple transmuting flame. And transmute it all in neutralized substance, vacuum it off, send it back to the great center sun permanently for repurposing. And as you're relaxing, you're going to want to breathe. You want to breathe through the nose, out through the mouth, breath in through the nose, breath out through the mouth. And as you breathe in, you're going to want to hold it 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. Exhale through the mouth. And while I'm talking, you want to do this at least six times. Breathing is empowering. It's nurturing. Sacred. And as you breathe in, you're breathing in divine positive energy. And this is a connection to the collective consciousness of the universes of all that there is, ever has been, and ever will be. This is literally trillions and trillions and trillions of civilizations through all existences, all dimensions, densities, frequencies. It's the consciousness that creates everything. It's the consciousness that creates planets, solar systems, galaxies, pulsars, quasars, everything. It's the consciousness, the collective consciousness of the universes. Without consciousness, matter is not held together to take form. We breathe in divine positive energy communicating with us is that our civilization is not complete. It is fragmented. We are here to fine tune, to polish the tones, the frequencies, the, the melody into higher and higher vibration to lift the civilization of this 
planet into a much higher frequency of existence, eliminating all the lower frequencies of homelessness, starvation, sickness, disease, all of these things. All of our brothers and sisters that are scraping, clawing, trying to exist. And this message is, is that we will succeed in lifting them up in love, in peace, in joy, in generosity, and in unselfishness, in pure bliss, pure harmony, tranquility. As we breathe out, we're breathing out all of fear that we hold on to, fears, distress, anxiety, we all have them. And we purge them, we eliminate them, we embrace them, we send, give them love, send them love, and then we release them. When, when we ignore or run from or we turn our backs on our distresses, they continue to grow. When we face them, embrace them, and love them, they vaporize, they disappear. So we expel all of that. We, we, we eliminate it. We call the purple transmuting flame the violet ray. Purple transmuting flame transmutes everything, neutralizes substance, sends it back to the great central sun for repurposing. Violet ray comes in and purifies and cleanses everything. It's wonderful feeling, wonderful experience. So, we now turn and we move effortlessly into our heart-mind, and our heart-mind is above the heart as we float above the heart, and we are immediately met and totally embraced with our higher self, our spirit, our soul, our God spark. And we become one. We are aware that we are one. To the majority of humanity, of this civilization, they're unaware that they are one. The spirit is life everlasting. It is contained in these bodies, in these spacesuits. This is our essence, and we are clear and cognizant to the fact that we have merged our bodies with our spirits and consciousness, and we have brought heaven to earth, earth being the body, heaven being the spirit, merging the two together creates a heaven here on Terra Crista, in Terra Crista, on this planet, in this planet, earth, Gaia. We are, we are immediately, we're encased in a perfect sphere of the golden light, pink light of prime source creator God. And this is deep eternal love. It is the most powerful and omnipotent energy that has ever existed. It is a field. It circulates through everything. It is everywhere. It makes up all that there is, ever has been, ever will be. The only thing that can penetrate these fields, these, these spheres, is more deep eternal love. Everything else that may bring lower frequencies is dispelled and vaporized. As soon as it gets near We, we wield this, these energies. We wield the emerald green flaming healing light of Archangel Raphael, the violet blue purple flaming
flaming light of Archangel Michael. The purple transfusing flame, the violet ray, the white fire, the golden white pink light of prime source, creator God, mother, father, God, our family. These are our energies. This, this is this, the colors that we give off, our aura, our, our, our spirit. It's a prism light that's reflecting, it's glitter, it has a glow, it has a multitude of colors. Vibrant, vibrating. Arm in arm, hand in hand, we form our circle of light. And remember, our circle goes the circumference of Earth. And it starts right at the equator. And it saturates down and around, up and over the top. As we move up effortlessly above the planet, we immediately call on the other parts of us, all of the light energy beings who are in all dimensions, all frequencies, all universes, and all existences, who are of the deepest eternal love, from the deepest eternal love, of benevolence and kindness and peace, to join us in this meditation, and they come and gugaplexes that they fill the sacredness of space. They flock in, and they're constantly coming in through this entire meditation. They come in, and as they come in, they merge into the circle of light, the halo, and it, and it expands, and it grows in circumference, and it literally begins to glow brighter and brighter and brighter. And we are humbled by them coming in to this light, this circle. And they are thankful and grateful as we are to them that they are with us. We call upon all of the archangels, the cherubim, the seraphim, the archetypes, all of the angels who are of deep eternal love, from deep eternal love, in peace, kindness, and joy, they join us in this meditation, and they flock in, in the billions, and they come, and they literally fold into the circle of light. We're all, the, we are all together in this circle of light. We merge in, we can feel the uplifting energies, the vapor flames of everlasting life, of love deep love and peace. We feel, feeling all of those energies, experiencing and interacting with all of those energies. We are so thankful and grateful and appreciative that they are with us and we are with them. We call upon all the ascended masters, Kwanyan, Maitreya, Ganesh, Lakshmi, Gaia, St. Germain, Sananda, Jesus, Buddha, El Moria, Abundantia, all of the ascended masters who come in, flock in, all of deep eternal love, from deep eternal love, from the deepest peace and love and joy. They are elated, they are grateful and thankful as we are grateful and thankful for them joining us in this meditation and they all come into this light conduit, this circle of light and it, it, it expands in circumference and as it grows, the light grows and expands the highest of highest frequencies of deep eternal love we call upon all of the inner earth inhabitants all of the hollow earth inhabitants, all of the beneath earth inhabitants who are all of deep eternal love, from deep eternal love, and deep joy, kindness, peace, and tranquility, to join us in this meditation. And they don't hesitate. They are with us immediately in 
joy and gratitude and, and happiness and love and we thank them and we love them and we appreciate them as they do us. We call upon all of the off-worlders who have been assisting this civilization in ascension, enlightenment, and its awareness on being free. They are, all of them are from deep eternal love and of deep eternal love. They are in peace, kindness, generosity, and tranquility. They are loving, caring, giving, as we are. And we thank them, and we appreciate them, and we love them as they do us. We call upon all of the loved ones who have passed in this life and all lifetimes that we've inhabited, who are of deep eternal love, from deep eternal love, to join us in this meditation, and they come immediately, and we feel them and embrace them as they come into the circle of light, arm in arm, hand in hand, embracing us as we them, and we are grateful and thankful that they are with us always, and them with us. We call upon all of the light energy beings currently housed in the following forms on this planet, in this planet at this time. The fairies, the sprites, the elves, gnomes in the trees, the elements, elementals, earth, air, water, fire, the mermaids, the dolphins, the whale, the pegasus, the unicorn, all these light energy beings, and, and they come of deep eternal love from deep eternal love, the highest joy, the highest happiness, the highest prosperity, the highest kindness, they're with us and they embrace us as we embrace them. We are elated and we are thankful and grateful and humbled by their presence as they are with us. And our circle expands and grows and our light more and ever so brighter. We look up and we see our meditative sphere, center circle, that's tens of thousands larger than our sun times. It can be seen from all dimensions, all densities, all existences, from all universes, from all that there is, ever has been, and ever will be. It is a beacon of deep, eternal love, peace, and prosperity, joy, tranquility, and kindness. It vibrates and it sends out pulses of waves throughout the universes, transforming negative lower energies into higher and higher energies and frequencies of deep, eternal love and peace. We can feel it as it literally saturates the tops of our heads all through our physical bodies, inside and out, our etherical bodies, inside and all around, from head to toe. It holds all of our meditations in perpetual motion. This is a powerful, extremely omnipotent energy, frequency. It transforms everything in a matter of microseconds. It uplifts all negative energies. 
it vaporizes and transforms any low frequencies into the highest high of frequencies into deep eternal love, peace, prosperity, joy, and happiness. We can feel it vibrate within us, all around us. We can literally breathe in the emerald green flaming light, healing light of Archangel Raphael, the violet blue purple flaming light of Archangel Michael, the purple transfusing flame, the violet ray, the white fire, and the golden white pink light of prime source creator God, mother, father God, our family. You feel renewed, awakened, expanded in total peace and kindness existing only in the now for all happens in the now. All goes on in the now. Past, present, and the future. All in the now. As we look down upon the planet, we see all of our brothers and sisters. We see the civilization. We see the disharmony. We see those who are without, without food, without water, without proper clothing, without proper shelter. Without abundance, we flood them with the deep eternal love. We literally pulse out waves, we construct prosperity beacons hysterically. Wherever there are those who are in need in low frequencies, those who do not have food, those who are not happy, that cannot find home, that do not have the right clothing to protect them, who are not happy who are not in harmony, who are disarrayed. The homeless, the diseased, the starving. All of these, we erect crystalline light towers that will permeate and saturate wherever they go, whatever they do, through them, in them, around them. All things are uplifted. All of these brothers and sisters are uplifted. Their energy fields will increase. Their frequencies will begin to lift. Their thoughts will be directed into higher frequency. They will begin to manifest. They will begin to create. They will begin to think for themselves and lead themselves. They will begin to smile. Their burdens, their stresses, and their fears will be vaporized, and they will enter into the light of everlasting love, of happiness and joy and bliss and security and peace and confidence without ego. They will be showered as they are being now. Watch as their lights grow brighter and brighter and brighter. From this day forward in this meditation, crystal and light towers that are constructed in the etherics are everywhere they are, constantly saturating and flooding them with the highest of highest frequencies, of the highest of highest energies, of the most beautiful tones and melodies, embracing them, empowering them, waking them up to their true power and their true deep eternal love, happiness, kindness, and joy. And to realize that it is inside of them and always has been and always will be. I'll join you in the meditation and I'll return to close us out.
happiness and contentment that the civilization is in, the more it lifts up, uplifts all of us. Imagine when you when you walk into other thoughts, other energies, which we all do. They're filled with bliss, happiness, joy, peace, and prosperity. It's uplifting the entire civilization. This is where the true joy, harmony, peace will come within us and through our bodies uh, and the merging process and then this planet into a paradise. It's joy, peace, happiness, prosperity. It's with all of those who are displaced, all of our brothers and sisters who are in disharmony. This is our intent, and this is part of why we're here. To take this, you know, this knowingness that you and your spirit, your higher self, are knowingly together, cooperating, working together in love, peace, joy, and harmony, and that everything we do is to lift up, is to increase love vibrational energies and, and peace and joy and prosperity and harmony. This is not a weakness. This is a omnipotently powerful energy. It is all there is, ever has been, and never will be. The anger, the aggressions, and everything else, that is love under pressure, and it can be alleviated as the love overtakes all that there is, ever has been, and ever will be. It has. It is a concerted effort with all of us, continuously, unendingly, tirelessly. So take it with you for the rest of the day, into the evening and night, and into tomorrow morning. And we have a in about, I don't know, half an hour here, we'll have another uh, FESIG um, presentation. Uh, the link to get there is on my website, we are one light for all.net. You can go to the uh, TFCC area and it should be posted in there at the top. You click on that, it'll take you right in. You should be able to uh, listen and participate as well. You may listen and maybe participate. We're going to talk about the celestial chambers. We're going to talk about replicators. We're going to talk about the currency. Uh, we're going to talk about several things. So um, you're welcome to come there. We have tonight, we have a multifaceted TFCC on this line at 9 p.m. Eastern. Uh, we will be addressing more in-depth avenues for our civilization. And we'll be discussing some uh, new intros in the health area and um, some, there's so many topics that take too long to address. So um, that will be on this line at 9 p.m. Eastern tonight. We will return here May 2nd at 3 p.m. Eastern at 3 p.m. Eastern on May 2nd, 2019. I get that. I knew I'd get that right. Okay.